So today I'm going to compare Ronaldinho versus Neymar. Two great players that really love the style of play. Ronaldinho is obviously not playing anymore, but we are still going to try to compare them effectively. I'm doing this video because I've been kind of inspired by one of the comments on one of the videos of the channel and wanted to give my thoughts about this and say who I think personally is the best between them two. I will be totally neutral even though Ronaldinho is my favorite player and judging on stats, yes, but also my personal opinion. If there's anything you don't agree with, let me know in the comments. So let's start. The first criteria we are going to look at is effectiveness. But what is effectiveness? Effectiveness is how effective they have been throughout their career for their countries and clubs. This is based purely and solely on stats, so it's factual. And when we compare only the stats, it's fair to say that Neymar is clearly the most effective player between the two. He has, for clubs, 324 goals in 515 games for a ratio of 0.63 goals per game. For Brazil, he's got 64 goals in 103 games for a ratio of 0.62 goals per game. Just to put that into perspective, he's the second top goal scorer ever of the Brazil football team. He's just beyond Pele who has 77 goals. Also, Neymar has 171 assists in 515 games for a ratio of 0.33 assists per game for the clubs he played for throughout his career. And when playing for the Brazil national team, he got 44 assists in 103 games, so a ratio of 0.43 assists per game, which is huge. And those stats as of the 25th of March 2021. Neymar is 29 and he's got a few years left to play, so he will surely have more goals and assists. And Ronaldinho on the other side, he has 277 goals in 712 games for a ratio of 0.39 goals per game for the clubs he played for throughout his career. For country, he's got 33 goals in 97 games for a ratio of 0.34 goals per game. And he has been able to get 160 assists in 712 games for a total of 0.22 assists per game for the clubs he played for throughout his career. And for the Brazil national team, he's been able to get 26 assists in 97 games for a total of 0.27 assists per game. So yeah, Neymar wins this one clearly with no debate possible. With 0.63 goals per game for the clubs he played for and 0.62 goals per game for Brazilian national team, he had managed to have nearly 1.5 times what Ronaldinho had in his whole career. So yeah, Neymar wins on this one and there is no debate about it. Next on the list we have dribbling and skills. Whew, this is going to be a tight one as they are both known to be unstoppable in 1v1 situations. When looking at Neymar's signature moves we have Lombretta, very impressive skills that would humiliate any defender. The roll plus Cruyff, a nice skill to get away from tricky situations. Sombrero from the floor, another impressive pool of skills that are very stylish and rare to see on the pitch. And the Neymar start. This is one of his favorite skills where he leaves the defender for dead with a simple body feint. Why for one idea we mainly have the Elastico, who was not the first one who did it, but he definitely made it famous by the way he was doing it. Stepovers, he used to most of the time use the single stepover rather than multiple ones, but any variation that he was using was deadly. He also liked to use the sombreros, which was one of his favorite skills as well, and he surely was using it very well. And finally, nutmegs who he was known for and used countless of times. It's very hard to pick a winner and I'm sorry but you will have to tell me in the comments who you think is the better one for dribbling and skills. To me, on this one, it's a draw. So now we will talk about the technique or more simply, the first touch. To me, Neymar is great technically, probably one of the most technical players in the world right now. But Ronaldinho? <laughs> He might be the greatest technical player of all time. When looking at the first touch, 
Who have you seen have ever got a better first touch than Ronaldinho? He's arguably the best ever on the first touch. When you're looking at these touches, you can clearly see his greatness. It is unbelievable. Don't get me wrong, Neymar is still great and what he does on the pitch is still amazing. Like these first touches. But on that one, I have to give it to Ronaldinho. And you would probably as well. For the free kicks, it's clear that they're both very good free kick stickers. But to find who is the best out of them two, we will have to look at who has actually scored the most of them. And when looking at the stats, Ronaldinho is far above Neymar on that one. He has scored throughout his career a whooping 66 goals on free kicks alone when Neymar has just 24. So a bit more than a third of Ronaldinho's tally. Just to put that into perspective, Ronaldinho, based on statistics, is the third best free kick taker of all time. Beyond Juninho Pernambucano, who has 77 goals from direct free kicks, and Pelé, who has 70. And on par with Logos Hagelier, with 66. To put even more perspective onto this, Lionel Messi has 55, while Cristiano Ronaldo has 56. So you can clearly see how Ronaldinho has been deadly on free kicks throughout his career. Next, we have passing. For the passing, Neymar will win that one, just on the fact that he did contribute more to the team than Ronaldinho. As I said before, his assist per game is a whooping 0.33. Just to put that into perspective, is literally when he plays for a club, one assist every three games. So when he's got the PSG shirt, you can be sure there will be an assist in the next three games. Insane. But what's even more crazy is the fact that when he puts the Brazil shirt on, the ratio rise to 0.43. 0.43 at international level. <laughs> Well, anyway, he wins this one on the start for sure, but I have to mention that visually to me, Ronaldinho has better passing skills. I know it doesn't match the stats, but when you look at Ronaldinho's passing skills, he can ping the ball, he can whip the ball, he can use the outside, the inside. He literally could do anything. He could pass the ball with his back, he could pass the ball with his chest, back kills, everything. But anyway, Based on stats, Neymar still wins on that one. Another one that will have to give to Neymar just based on the stats, because if you create more goals, then you surely have a better vision. It's simple, honest truth. I think it's fair to say that Ronaldinho wins this one in my opinion, as he created new moves that we were all in awe with. The no-look pass, for example, is being made famous by him. Back heels, Chest pass, back pass, and even back first touch. He did it all. Neymar is also a creative player, but when comparing him with Ronaldinho on this one, he doesn't stand a chance. Before moving on to the next one, let's take a moment to appreciate this note look pass from Ronaldinho. Just look at that. There is a difference between the way he does it and the way other players doing it. Most people, they simply turn their head just before hitting the ball. But Ronaldinho, mm -mm, he turned his whole body and head without looking at the ball, neither the player is going to pass it to and whoop, he passed it to his teammates. Not only this was stylish, but pay attention to the defenders. They really believe he was going to pass the ball to the side and not forward. Look at the way they react. This is pure genius, man. Speed. <laughs> well, well, well. Another one where we can clearly and honestly pick a winner. <laughs> That's easy. Neymar is the faster player. Don't get me wrong, Ronaldinho was quick but not fast. Neymar is not fast either when comparing him to guys like Mbappe or Adama Traore, but he surely is faster than Ronaldinho. 
No argument on this one too. Ronaldinho is the stronger player. He was actually very strong with a great balance, which when he was shielding the ball, it was nearly impossible to get it from him. Neymar is a lighter player who likes to move around rather than traditionally shield the ball. They both have their own style, but when it comes to strength and power, Ronaldinho is the one that wins. This is basically what sets them apart from their peers during their career. What makes them so special that we haven't discussed yet? What are they known and recognized for? Any very important game they have been the hero of? Well, let's dive in. So, as big game players, Neymar and Ronaldinho are both amazing games. One that comes to my mind for Neymar is the Romantada against PSG while he was playing for Barcelona. This was one of the big games where Neymar was not only the star, but the hero. The one that actually lifted the team up to win the game. Oh yeah, just to remind you, he had two goals and one assist in five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. For Ronaldinho, I found two games where he was not only the star player, but the hero. The World Cup 2002 quarter final against England, where Brazil was 1-0 down and Ronaldinho stepped up to the plate. To deliver an assist to Rivera who equalized, and then to score the winning free kick and help Brazil to get through to the semi final. This was one of the most iconic performances of the World Cup 2002, even though later on during that game he got a red card. Funny enough, he was still smiling. <laughs> then there's the Classico 2005 against Real Madrid, where Ronaldinho scored a brace and helped Barcelona win 3 0 at the Bernabeu where Real Madrid supporters gave him a standing ovation. He was only the second Barcelona player who received that from the Bernabeu crowd, and the other one was no other than Diego Armando Maradona back in 1983. After Ronaldinho though, Iniesta received also one in 2015. This is the last one we're going to look at to compare Ronaldinho and Neymar. So roughly Neymar has got one Champions League, two Spanish leagues, three Spanish Cups, three French leagues, one French Cup. And for Brazil, is the Confederation Cup winner back in 2013. Individually, he's got the Pushkas Award back in 2011. He's been the best player in the Confederation Cup in 2013. He's been third in the Ballon d'Or in 2015 and 2017 behind no other than CR7 and Lionel Messi. And lastly, Neymar is 29 and he's still got a few years left to play. So keep that in mind whenever you will watch this video. Now Ronaldinho. He's got one Champions League, two Spanish leagues. For Brazil, he's got one World Cup in 2002, one Confederation Cup in 2005, and one Copa America in 1999. Individually, Ronaldinho has been named FIFA Player of the Year 2004 and 2005 and lastly he won the Ballon d'Or in 2005 and been third in 2004. So for this one we can clearly say Ronaldinho won both individually and collectively with Brazil where he won a World Cup and Neymar didn't. He won also a Copa America, Neymar didn't. And individually he won the Ballon d'Or which Neymar didn't as well. Well, to me, Ronaldinho is the better player and wins to a very small margin. Let me know in the comments what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Is Neymar the better one? Let me know. Peace.